Lucy. This is me trying to document my process of learning film photography. I just got this in the mail today. This is a Nikon FM10. So it's been about a week since I took the photos and I got them developed. So this was the first one I took. There was a bit of light leak that happened, which I don't really know why that was. And then I took a few more photos and then I realized that I wasn't reloading the film correctly. I wasn't pulling this lever back all the way and um, just I just face palmed and I realized that like, oh my gosh. Um, I was using this light meter uh, app. Basically, it's just on your phone. It's really simple to take a reading. So I was using this to understand what shutter speed and focal length to set my camera at. And then I realized uh, after a few more pictures that I was actually accidentally underexposing it because uh, I had gotten the the fractions confused. So these pictures um, that I took next are a little underexposed. For film, what I've heard generally is that you want to overexpose it. Um, so on my next roll, I'll be paying extra attention to that. This picture didn't come out too bad. I really liked how crisp this was. And I was um, trying to get the background in focus too, so you could have best of both worlds. I think I should have overexposed it a little more. This photo was trying to get the foreground to be very blurry and the background to be in focus to play on perspective. I think that the manual focus um, hadn't had the background totally in focus, so it's a little blurry. I think it would have been a really cool shot, but we can use our imagination from here. And then I went into this grocery store in Chinatown, which was closing, but they let me take a few photos. That was so nice of them. I actually really like this photo, despite how simple it is. There's something very geometrically pleasing about this. Um, I really like the colors and the blue tile. Um, I took this photo also in the same grocery store. This is what it looks like after post-editing it. I like the colors a little bit more, but uh, I do wish I had framed it a little better where the guy on the side was in the photo more. Um, some more underexposed pictures. I tried to save this one, which came out a little too dark to save, but I think the lighting would have looked really cool. This photo I really love. It's a picture of my cat Mango. I really think the lighting here is what makes this photo really interesting. Hopefully we'll be shooting in sunlight next time. I really like this photo of fruits. I think the perspective play is really interesting and I love the colors in this. I also really love this picture, which is a horizontal framing of that same scene. I was trying to go for a more vintage look for when um, film photos are left out in the sun and it looks a little washed out. So I kind of like the desaturated look for these because it just feels more vintage. This one was in the food market. I really liked the leading lines of the lights and like the rows. Uh, I also really love this one in the same fish market and I didn't expect the colors to come out so vibrant. I really love the textures of the fish. I really like this photo that I took of just this chair in Chinatown. I paired it with this picture that I snuck of this man um, smoking in Chinatown. Both these photos give more spatial awareness to where the photo was taken and it kind of plays on um, this feeling of like loneliness uh, and post-editing it, desaturating those colors just to give it more of a Japanese like movie uh, cinematic look. Passed by this park and uh, these kids were playing basketball and a lot of fun um, community going on here, some uh, people playing ping pong as well. I really wanted to capture the beautiful light of sunlight that was hitting the court and hitting the trees. Really, these photos did not come out the way I wanted them to. I also got this photo of this uh, mom and daughter walking home on the nearby street and now I paired it with one of the earlier photos I mentioned and um, really gave it that desaturated old vintage look. Um, some more interesting photos I try to take of light coming through different windows and trees um, and I do like these photos a lot. I, again, I just don't really think the framing is interesting to me but they're not bad pictures but I do think I had some overall favorites from these. So my first roll of film, I think uh, half of them were very underexposed but um, the other half that did come out I was able to play with the colors and post editing and really make something I liked. So I'm really excited to see how the next few rolls of film come out and happy to take you guys along with my journey and let me know if you guys liked any pictures in particular.